Hey guys, JT here with a comparison between the new Armor Typhon and then also what I'm going to do is just display the Sentin here, but the Sentin platform, or at least this design, is similar to the Big Rock and then the Granite with the exception of the length of the chassis and then uh, the side guards and stuff like that. But I will do a, a comparisons video with all four cars, but I wanted to point out a couple of things with this Typhon um, just to kind of guess clear the air um, on a couple of things because some people do think that they just took uh, This Sentin chassis and just popped the buggy body on and they didn't do that. They actually did a lot more um, to it. So um, As far as width wise, this is going to be maybe about a quarter of an inch wider It may the Sentin may look wider right now because his body's on it But it actually is and I actually put this car on on top of this buggy here to show you guys that but there are a lot of differences, design differences between the two. Um, so they didn't just, like I said, take that platform and do like one or two little minor things with it. All right, so I'll get these bodies off real quick. So what you guys can notice right up front or right up the bat is that you guys look at the front of these shock towers. So they put some little uh, protective caps on here, of course. You see these on a lot of 8-scale buggies. Sometimes they are plastic, sometimes they are aluminum. But this protects your car if it's flipping over and keep it from scratching up your shock towers and stuff. Now, the granite and stuff, the granite, the big rock, and, um, of course, this doesn't have that on there because it has the body to protect it when the car flips over. So that's something that's new, newly designed on here as well. Now, of course, this has 17 millimeter uh, hubs on it. So, of course, it's got 17 millimeter. Um, zoom in on this real quick. 17 millimeter hexes on there as well. Now, I don't know 100% sure. I'm going to have to take these off and do some experimentation. Um, but I'm pretty sure that the uh, hubs and stuff on here may actually fit on here. I don't think they went with a complete new design on that. Um, but that's some differences there with that. Of course, I talked about in the unboxing is what's going to be the bumpers and stuff. The bumpers are different on all four of the cars, actually. So they did go in and redesign that as well. They didn't just swap out one or two things with that, which is great. And they kept the cost the same. The only the most expensive one is going to be the Big Rock. Um, looking at this, I would think this would have been a little bit more expensive because they put more into the design and stuff with it. But the front and let me turn this around real quick. And the rear bumpers are going to be designed differently as well, as well as it is on the Big Rock and the Granite um, as well. Like I said, I'll do a comparisons with those. But you guys also see on the rear here, they did put those same plastic caps on here as well. As on the other three, you won't see that here. Um, it may look like the shock towers are a little bit beefier, but they're not. And this is dirty because I've been running the, the heck out this car um, with that. And, of course, this doesn't include a wheelie bar with it, which is fine. I think out the box and as it runs and as it's set up, it's going to be fine. You can also loosen the slipper clutch up um, so that it won't wheelie as much. Now, real quick, on to the A-arms. This is going to be a little tricky, but they are a little bit different in design. Um, you guys see the way the mold is kind of formed here on the Typhon that's below it and then how it's formed differently on the top of Yeah, I busted my shock up and I never cleaned it up. I just put some oil in and kept going. Um, so that's what that's from. So, but you guys see that there are a difference here and the A-arms on here are longer. So I believe you still can put these A-arms on your Sentin or on your Big Rock because these drive shafts do have a little bit of adjustability to it. Um, but these A-arms on the Typhon 3S are longer. So just so you guys know, so the ones on the uh, uh, Sentin, the Big Rock, and the Granite are the same size. So that's a little bit different. So if Armor releases other cars, <clears throat> Creighton, um, uh, we'll probably see this design or this same uh, longer A-arms on there as well. And just for all the naysayers out there, of course, the Sentin is right here on the right, and then the Typhon's right here on the left. You see they did extend the turnbuckles out just a little bit. We can get that to focus in um, than they did on the Typhon. So that, that also shows you that the A-arms are longer as well. The drive shafts are probably the same, but they probably just got an adapter over there because these do use 14 millimeter hexes. This is, of course, 17 millimeter hexes. And, of course, as you go back um, further on the car, you'll see differences there. Of course, they use some of the components that actually are going to hold these side guards on to actually mount these body mounts for the body. They did that for the front, and then they also did that for the rear. And the rear is where you would actually, like I mentioned in the unboxing, these are the holes that fit for all of the trucks. Um, these are the holes that actually uh, fit the body mounts on their front and rear. Whereas on the Typhon, you don't see that on the rear. They're actually covered up, and then on the front, you see it's just kind of a hole there. So you may have to, I 
say put something in to plug it up just to keep a lot of dirt and stuff getting out of there and then of course the typhon doesn't have that side guard like all the other trucks do and those trucks do have three different types of side guards they're not all the same trust me i had a uh, my big rock when i try to um take the side guards and put that on the grand or the sin they don't work so they are designed different so you guys just have to consider that if you're thinking about converting one to the other um so things that are somewhat similar as we're kind of looking at both of these two real quick of course the drive shafts and the drive chains the center um you guys see that it does have the bearing there for that and does have a bearing here the gear ratio is going to be different between this uh Sentin and then this Typhon the Sentin is the only one that has the 20 tooth pinion gear in it all the other ones have the 15 tooth in it so that's interesting but you guys see that it has smaller tires and wheels so to get it up to the 50 mile per hour speed they did gear it up so as I mentioned before you have three gear ratios the 15 the 20 and I believe it's 26 I don't think it's 27 I think the uh, mega version has a 27 too but it's 48 pitch and these are 32 pitch so those are some of the major differences there. Um, I'm really geeked about running this car. I have not had a chance to get it out and run it yet. Uh, it's the weather's just kind of crazy here in Georgia and stuff, but I hope to get some videos up soon. But I wanted to at least do this so you guys can see some of the differences uh, with these two car with these platforms. Um, of course, I'll be doing a lot more with that, but but I'll show you guys um, all that as time progresses on. Then another key point and key thing to think about is, you know, this isn't the first time a company's designed an eight scale buggy that was budget friendly. Um, you guys know I had the Kyosho buggy um, and then I also had the Hobby King Rattler. So as I drive this buggy, I will be comparing this um, from my memory with those other two as well. And, do, and then do some price point comparison. So after I do, after I drive it several times, I will get some of my first uh, first run thoughts on it and how this actually compares to those. Now I know a couple. Now I know some of those are a couple years old, but um, some people are still purchasing because I still get messages all the time. People asking me about um, those two types of buggies and stuff. So I don't. I no longer have either one of those, but I can tell you guys as far as how they ran compared to this one. And then, of course, durability wise as well. So anyway, guys, that is another video of this. Kind of wanted to get this up to kind of clear the air on a couple of things. Um, there might be one or two minor uh, differences, too, as well. I didn't point out, of course, body and stuff like that in the wing. But I mean, other than that, um, it's still designed on that platform. But there are some minor differences there and i'm surprised that um and i'm glad that arma didn't increase the price when they actually made those changes and stuff because these things are these things are, are selling i've seen people comments that they've already gotten one or two and some people are thinking about getting them and some people got them on order and stuff so good job with this one arm i still have not ran it yet now we just need to get some parts for it because um, i've seen people break some a-arms when they were doing 50 foot jumps and stuff like that which i'll be doing but i need to make sure i got parts for it um so i think that tower and horizon will be getting those in sometime in february but our february is the time of this video but anyway guys um as always don't forget to like subscribe and put your comments below i may have missed one or two things go ahead and put them down below so that everyone knows because sometimes i don't get everything and you guys know that sometimes it's late at night or right now i'm still kind of battling this cold my nose is stopped up and to me i sound like kermit the frog but um I probably sound normal to some other people. So anyway, guys, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.